Okay, so I'm going to do a real quick video going over the actual code for a stack. This is going to be a follow-up video to the actual slides that I covered previously. So I'll have that linked and probably up in the uh, cards if you want to take a look back at that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and swap over to VS Codium. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code real quick. So we'll just do a real quick recap of the node because that's where I'll start. And it's going to be just like our linked list, we're going to have integer-based data, a pointer here, our default constructor, our integer-based constructor. Again, you can change this to whatever you want. If you want that to be a character, you can do that. If you want that to be strings, you can do that. Not a big deal. This is pretty extensible as it is. But this is going to be what we have for now. And moving from there, we have our simple stack class, very, very similar to the linked list class. Big difference is that instead of having head and tail we just have a simple top because it's the only entrance I guess or exit that we really care about is pushing things onto the top of the stack and popping things from the top of the stack we don't really care about the bottom of it or anything in between in terms of direct access so else have linked just to count the number of elements in the stack because that's always good to know having some actual metrics for what you're working with always good so moving on from there, we have a constructor here, just constructs a blank slate for the stack, our deconstructor. So we have a void push function that's gonna take an integer based data, that's pushing data to the stack. And then we have void pop, if we want to change that to an integer, you can do that, return something and do something with the data. That's perfectly fine, not a big deal. For now, we're just going to be pushing data to and popping data from the stack. We're not really going to do anything with it right now, but again, if you want to change it, perfectly fine. And then peak, that is just looking at the data that either was that's just pushed on and basically the immediate data that we pop from the stack. And then display stack, it's just going to display all the data inside the stack, not a big deal. And then we're going to move over to the CPP file where all of our actual code is. So, deconstructor, this is pretty much identical to what we have in linked list where we just keep a track here of the top. We're gonna loop through until our tracker for the, our node basically is a null pointer. Continuously adjust the top and delete the data that was at and do that until everything in the stack is deleted. Then moving on, we have our simple push. It's gonna take an integer for data. We're going to create a completely new node in memory that contains our data attribute. And then we're going to increase the length because we're adding data to the stack. And once we do that, we are going to take our new node current here, and then we're going to say that its next pointer should be set to what our current top is. And then we're going to just top to be our new current and then continuously do that building our stack up. So moving on from there, we have our pop, which is gonna be removing data. First thing we wanna do, check to see if it's empty. If it's empty, tell the user that, then return. If you look at the slide video, there is an error where I do not have the return statement here. It's not the end of the world, uh, though it might potentially break some stuff. So it's pretty easy to fix. It just returns so you don't end up trying to do any deletions or adjusting the length without needing to do that. So it's a pretty easy fix, but this should do it. So here we are going to decrement the length to make sure that we keep track of how many elements are in our stack. Then we're going to initialize a node this isn't new data, this is just going to initialize a new reference to the top, or at least the data at the top. And once we have that reference associated with the top, we're then going to change the actual top to be what it points to next. And then once we've done that, we're going to delete that reference that we had to the top, therefore deleting that data from the stack completely. After that, Peak, very, very simple. If top is a null pointer, we're gonna have an empty stack, just return, not a big deal. There's nothing to be printed. 
and then if it isn't empty then we're just going to simply see out tops data so we could change this to an integer and get some data out of it no real need to right now it's a really really easy change it's just int and then return top data instead of see out but not a big deal for right now and display stack this is identical to what we had in the linked list where we keep a reference at top and then link through or loop through until we reach a null pointer which is beyond the scope of the stack essentially so that's pretty much all of our functions if we come over to main let's see we are initializing a stack of object a we're going to push one push three uh, eventually we'll pop something from it in the display so if we want to come over here to go to terminal real quick do compilation and then run that. You see we have a three and a one where one is the first thing that was put in, so it'll be the last thing we have reference to. Three is our top, so that would be what immediately comes out. So whenever we do pop here, we compile, you see that we only have a one printed out. And meanwhile, if we do a dot peak, we should print out that three. And if we do a dot pop, a dot pop, then we are going to try and pop when we have an empty stack. So it should tell us, hey, it's empty, can't do anything. And if we try to peak while it's empty, you know what? Let's just do that. It also tells us empty stack. Pile. Run that. We end up. So we push to one, three. We peak. We only return three because that is what's on top. And then whenever we do these, it goes fine. That goes fine. Once we hit this third a dot pop, we're going to print out no data delete because we've already popped up both elements from the stack. Therefore, nothing is left on top. Therefore, we have nothing to delete. So we just tell the user that, return out, everything's safe. And then after that, we try to do a dot peak. The stack is empty. And then if you look at this empty line here, that is us actually displaying the stack with nothing in it. So if I want to real quick say, do this, we have six. Compile. I should print out a six right there. That's about it. Now you can do a whole lot with just this push pop functionality and it's just up to you to make sure you have some use case for a stack where push and pop is all that you need. Now obviously if you need more functionality than this then you're not going to be using a stack for this particular use case. You'll want to migrate to a vector or a linked list or something that has a little bit more flexibility. But that's going to essentially be it for this video. I just want to kind of go over the actual methods, the functions we have for the stack and kind of display exactly what's going on. There's not really a whole lot to discuss that I haven't discussed previously in the linked list uh, video that I did previously, but this is the LIFO programming principle and that restriction is what makes a stack a stack because there's not a lot that you can do with it and that simplicity makes it very very straightforward in what you can and what you cannot do so there is some beauty in that restriction and if your use cases are not met or your needs are not met by a stack then just don't use one or well you either don't use one or you alter what your needs are and typically that latter part is easier said than done but that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you learned something. I'll see you later.